13. Creepiest Abandoned Soviet Era Places. Number 13. House of Bulgarian Communist Party. They left behind many places that no longer are in use that will leave a serious mark on many landscapes, countries, and cities. A photographer by the name of Rebecca Litchfield took this impressive photo in Bozlegia, Bulgaria. This photo was of the decaying House of the Bulgarian Communist Party. In the center of the roof, you see the well-known hammer and sickle, or the former emblem of the USSR. The roof has obviously been breached, and you can see the snow that has covered the stage, which once held meetings of influential Soviet leaders. Number 12. Latvian Sports Hall At this time, Latvia, located in North Europe, was still within Soviet territory. Many people in Latvia still believe that Russia will someday evade again, with a large amount of ethnic Russians leaving along the border. This photo shows that some places from this era might have been lively, happy places. This sports hall was once home to kids running around and playing. This was a colorful place with basketball hoops and posters to teach kids proper stretching techniques. Now it's just left to rot away in the cold, almost like it never even existed. Number 11. The Welcome Sign In the US, you might see something like the flashy Las Vegas sign to welcome people into the city. But in Soviet Russia, this is what you get. The Chernobyl disaster was one of the worst nuclear catastrophes to ever happen in the history of mankind. This sign is found within the Chernobyl exclusion zone. The incident forced many people to abandon their homes as quick as possible, making it a well-preserved ghost town. The photographer Rebecca risked getting radiation exposure by getting this close. Not far beyond it lies the creepy, lifeless city of Pripyat. We'll get to more on this location later in the video. Number 10. Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan Many of the Soviet Union's new buildings were built far away from the capital city of Moscow and into occupied territories or satellite states. Ralph Mereb captured some truly remarkable photos of an abandoned Soviet space shuttle and the building used to house it. The Soviet space program was quite successful and they sent people into space well before the Americans ever did. This area in Kazakhstan is quite remote, so it really seemed as if no one had returned to this place since they left it. It's believed that this spacecraft actually made it to space at some point. Number 9. Cold War German Base In Eastern Germany during the Cold War, you could almost feel the tension about to burst at some point. With NATO and the Americans being right next door, Russia felt that it was necessary to militarize this zone as much as possible. The city of Volstorf was the Soviet Army's biggest headquarter in Germany. The soldiers enjoyed a rather lavish headquarters, equipped with a massive swimming pool you see here, and a Russian-style theater. It's said that a lot of Russians who were occupying other territories preferred to be among other Russians and kind of kept it this way at the base to isolate themselves. It was recently on sale for roughly 4 million American dollars. Number 8. Paramedan The Soviet Union bought land here, located on the northern island of Svalbard, for an extensive coal mining operation. This area is now a part of the country of Norway, and due to large coal deposits, it wasn't abandoned until 1998. A lot of the buildings are still intact, and the Norwegian government has made attempts of turning this into a tourist attraction. Here in this photo, we see a coal-powered plant that was once teeming with workers. Number 7. Ramu Prison This abandoned prison, located in the country of Estonia, was once considered to be Europe's Alcatraz. Once the empire had crumbled, so did many of the buildings. This one here actually flooded and has become a tourist attraction for thrill-seeking scuba divers. Built from limestone, this housed an estimated 7,000 convicts between 1930 and 1931, and many were forced into hard labor for nearly 12 hours a day. There might not look like there's much from the outside, but once you go underwater, there's an endless amount of things to explore. Here in this photo, we see some scuba divers swimming up near the barbed wire fence that once surrounded the enclosure. In present times, local Estonians enjoy having picnics in this area. Number 6. Mongolian Air Base Although it wasn't official, Mongolia was basically a part of the Soviet Union. With communist countries on both sides, it was heavily influenced by both powerful nations of Russia and China. However, they acted as a satellite state to the USSR. In the 1970s, this air base was added and was seen as a way to protect themselves in case there was any territorial disputes with China. Here in this photo, we see this statue with a fighter jet. These armored aircraft shelters you see here were made to protect expensive aircraft from potential attacks and are designed with reinforced concrete. This random statue, which is now close to grazing pastures for cattle, has an inscription that states, Glory to the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. These large buildings house the officers and their families in this very isolated environment. Number 5. Abandoned Missile Factory 
This young Russian girl by the name of Lana Sator risked getting into huge trouble by taking these photos of an abandoned Russian missile factory near Moscow. Somehow, she claimed she didn't come across one security guard. The Russians were excellent rocket and missile producers, and it's believed that this factory belonged to liquid fuel rocket manufacturers that constructed liquid fuel rockets for spacecraft. Here we see the complex machinery that was needed to make these things that send people to space. It's still unsure whether or not this building is in service or not, but the fact that she was able to get in so easily would lead many to believe that it was abandoned. Whatever the case, we really hope that Lana didn't go to Russian prison or a work camp in Siberia. Number 4. Hungarian Train Station This iconic Soviet-style locomotive was built in 1941 and saw use during the Soviet era. The communist red star symbol is proudly displayed in front of the train. An urban explorer by the name of Rebecca Bathory captured these images while exploring the Hungarian countryside. She claims it was quite the spooky experience coming here to take photos and has never seen such an epic train in all of her life. Number 3. Kharkov Tank Repair Facility Do you need a place to scrap up metal to build a tank for the zombie apocalypse? This might be the place. Located in the Ukraine, this place was full of Soviet T-80, T-64, and T-72 tanks. Someone named Pasha broke into the facility to capture these amazing photos. Here we got tanks on tanks on tanks. There's also tank engines, tank parts, wires, treads, and pretty much everything you can imagine that's tank related. It used to be a place where a large amount of mechanics would repair tanks back to their former glory. But as far as we can tell, the Ukraine isn't doing anything with these tanks anymore. Number 2. Abandoned Places of Abkhazia The territory of Abkhazia, located in the country of Georgia, was one of the most disputed territories in the Soviet Union. The Russians constructed intimidating buildings in order to impose their rule. Here in this photo we see a factory that was left over during the Soviet era and is left to rust in present times. You can see on the inside it's still covered in debris and nothing can be repaired here. This former government building has been neglected and on the inside you can easily see the staircase littered with dust. The scenery around this train station is quite remarkable, but the building itself is in deplorable condition. Old government buildings and other places still have Soviet-era propaganda located within. And number 1. Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Possibly the most well-known place on this list, the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone has been shut down from the public due to radioactive contamination, so extreme tourists normally have to pay a hefty fee to the right people for a quick tour. The most populated city in this zone is the city of Pripyat, located just two miles from the power plant where the disaster took place. This city housed 50,000 people, including wealthy scientists and ones that worked at the Chernobyl power plant. The bumper cars we see here were once very popular attractions for the families of the workers here. Very few dare to actually venture off to the power plant, but Pripyat is safe for only a few hours to visitors. Nature has begun to thrive and reclaim this land once again. Some graffiti artists managed to break in here and painted this wall with a creepy looking baby. Very few were prepared for something like this and valuables were left behind like we see from this teddy bear with no owner. The hallways of these abandoned apartments begin to seem like the perfect setting for a horror film. This ferris wheel never saw any actual riders and was set to open a week before the meltdown. 